What's up guys, Sam Wild here. We're looking at blinding lights today. You are gonna need a capo on the first fret. All right, so get that fixed in first. Now this song is kind of easy, but it's also kind of hard, depending on uh, how advanced you wanna get here. So I'm gonna start with the easiest way of playing things. And then I'm gonna show you some ways to progress it if you want to, okay? But you can play the easy version over the whole song, which is the cool thing about this. We have the same chord progression for the entire song, so let's just quickly cover the chords, all right? Then we'll look at the rhythm, then we'll get more advanced. So we have E minor. All right, now for this song, you must make sure that you play it with fingers one and two. Might feel a little bit weird, but it means that you can add in uh, the various riffs and the melody and that synth line if you want to. Uh, it also makes it easier to go to the next chord. So make sure you use fingers one and two. Okay, one on A2, and you've got second finger on D string, D2. The next chord we have is B minor. Now, there's two ways of playing this in the song. You notice I kind of switch between the two when I'm playing it. Um, you can have the open E, or you can bar the first finger down and get the second fret on the E string as well. For me personally, I like to have open E in the verse, in the pre-chorus, and then when we get to the chorus, I like to bring it back down again for most of it because it kind of fits the melody you're singing. The next chord, we have a similar issue here where in the verse we can have open E, but in the chorus we can bar the first finger down like so. And again, you want to make sure you're playing this with the right fingers. Often we play D major like this, right? For this song, you want to use your first finger and just bar down the G string, B string, E string, set a second fret from capo, and then have second finger here on the third fret, B string. Okay, you can play anything from the A string down for this chord. Okay, and it works. So you can either have open E, where you've got to lift the first finger up, you get the open E, or you can flatten it down as well, okay? Finally, for the last chord, we have A. Now again, most people would usually play A like this, with three fingers. For the beginner simple version, you can do that, but if you wanna get the cool bass line, then you're gonna to have to use one finger to play A, okay? So basically what you do is you push that kind of top segment of your first finger in, so that part's flat, all right? And you can push it in on uh, D2, G2, and B2. You try and cover all three of those and push in with your thumb as well, like you're trying to pinch in like that. All right, then you get your A chord. So all the chords now, we have E minor, we have B minor, and we have D, or D sus, and we have A, or beginner A. All right, let's dive straight into this rhythm, okay? We have one chord progression, but also we have one rhythm to learn. That's the great thing about this song. It's really easy to get the basics learned. For those of you that do want to learn that riff, that's a little bit more challenging. Okay, so I'll do that later. Let's just start with the, the chord progression, the rhythm that works for everything, the entire song. Before we dive into the rhythm, it's worth realizing the tempo and where the beats of the drums lie, all right? So the tempo is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and the drums are going So when you're playing, you want to try and sort of mimic the drums a little bit. So if you listen to the way I strum this, You can hear I'm getting that It's sort of within there, all right? So bear that in mind, don't just play the downs and the ups exactly the same volume for every one of them. Try and feel the music a little bit. Now have a look at this rhythm, all right? You notice that the up strokes are always on the plus sign, the and sign. The down strokes are always on the number. So we're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now you won't be able to play this whole rhythm in one go, okay, unless you're really advanced. So let's just break it down. Okay, just play with me. We're gonna slowly build up this rhythm. So just start with the first three downs like this. Down, two, three, four, one, 
two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and again, down, 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 four, one, two, three, four, down, 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 four, one, two, three, four. Right, easy, cool, so you've almost done half of it already. Now we're gonna add an up and a down. Listen the first time, join in the second time. Down, 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 up, down. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down. One, two, one more time. Down, 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 up, down. One, two, three, four. All right, awesome. Now we wanna connect that first bar into the second, so we add another up, down. Again, listen first, come in the second time. We have down, 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 up, down, up, down, two, three, four, down, 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 up, down, up, down, two, three, four, down, 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 up, down, up, down, two, three, four, down, 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 up, down, up, down, two, three, four. All right, we're going to add another down onto this. Okay, so now we've got a down on that beat too as well. So listen first, then join in. We have down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, three, four, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, three, four, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, three, four, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, three, four, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, one more time. Three, four. All right, so as you can see, the first part of this rhythm is fairly simple once you get it. It's just knowing when to start adding in the ups, isn't it? Now, we have a couple more things to add. All right, we're gonna add a two and, so we'll add another upbeat there. Okay, then we're gonna uh, add an up, down, up to the very end of this. So now we have the whole rhythm. We'll try and do it a little bit slowly first. So just listen the first time round. I'll go round and round. Okay, just try and come in the second time and keep playing it. Here we go, one, two, one, two, three, four. Now, the second thing you want to try and do to this whole rhythm, okay, is emphasize beats two and four, like this. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Really emphasize, because that's where the... That's where the snare is on the drum. So just listen to me doing this, and then join in again. One, two, one, two, three, four. There you go, that is how the rhythm goes. Obviously it's a little bit faster. So let's try and do it full speed this time. Go around it a few times full speed. Then we can start trying to change chords. Here we go, one, two, one, two, three, four. Next and final step, we need to try and change chords. Okay, so this time. Okay, now don't worry about that. Don't worry about the bass line yet. That's more advanced, that's an option. We'll cover that in a second. For now, just do the same rhythm on every chord, all right? So let's just practice how we're gonna change chords here. So we've got our E minor shape, right? We want to stretch across to the B minor shape, but you can leave finger one down whilst you're doing this. Makes sense, so you've got E minor. And then you can be stretching across on the last few rhythms. 
you see on the last three, I was actually already moving across. Okay, don't try and do it right at the last split second because that's impossible, right? Okay, at least on the last down up, you want to be moving across. If you go from B minor to D, you'll notice the first finger just needs to drop down to the second fret on the G string. Okay, so it's just dropping down two strings. These two are just coming off, right? But finger two stayed in the same place. So B minor to D, B minor to D. You can see the second finger stays there, all right? It's still there, because it's in for both chords, isn't it? But then the first finger just drops down, all right? Now for A, you want to start moving that first finger up a bit, okay? Because now it's got to move up one string and flatten. And that's how we get A. For E minor, you just shift up to, to the E minor shape, like that. All right, so the hardest part is trying to do this rhythm whilst you're changing chords, okay? We've got to this kind of most difficult part. So the best thing to do is work on this slowly. So just play at this sort of speed. And then change, get your chord in position. And change again. Okay, so really work in that kind of way I just did, where you, you do the rhythm a bit slower and you take your time changing chords, all right? And then you just do it again and again and again, repetition is key, and then you'll start to do it a little bit faster. Once again, I want to remind you that in the verses, we can do, we can have that open E on the chords. So B minor, and for D, we can make it D sub, get the open E again. Right, that works really nice in the verses and the pre-chorus. However, when you get to the chorus, you might wanna, you can still do that if you want to, but I tend to swap between the two like this. You know, however you wanna do it, it doesn't really matter, but just because of the way the melody he sings, it's kind of, you wanna get the, flattened finger if you can. All right, so we've got that basic rhythm and chord structure down, all right? All you need to do is play quietly for the verse. And then when you get to the chorus, you just play loudly. Okay, this is the same thing, just soft for the verse, loud for the chorus. All right, we have a couple of extra advanced things to learn if you want to. If you're not bothered about being more advanced and you think, you know what, this is hard enough, this is challenging enough, just stick to what I've shown you so far. Skip ahead to the play along and play along with me for the whole song, just using that basic rhythm and the basic chords, just keep it that way. If you want to get more advanced, let's start with this bass line that happens on the A chord. You get that boom. Sounds really cool. Now, we have to approach our rhythm slightly differently. So have a look at the A chord, all right? This is what it was before, same as all the other chords, all right? Now we're gonna have to change it to this. So this whole rhythm for the A chord goes down, 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 up, down, up, down. You want to really emphasize those bom, bom, bom. So just strum those ones harder like this. Yeah, do, do, do. The rest are just sort of in between notes. They're just to fill the space more than anything. Yeah. The reason we just have a one on that final one is so you have time to change to your E minor chord again. Now, to really emphasize the, the bass line, it's quite hard to be strumming everything and because you want to really pick those notes more than anything else. So when you're doing this bass line, try and strum the lower strings here at the top a little bit more than the bottom strings, right? So the rest of it, you 
getting everything, but for the bass line, you're really trying to just hit those strings that you're emphasizing. Right. So that's just an optional bass line thing on the A chord if you're more advanced, right? You don't have to do that, you can just keep this, the normal rhythm, just stay on that A chord. And that's fine too. For those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. All right, the second thing to notice, uh, there are three things I want to show you here. The second thing, uh, quite simple, at the end of the pre-chorus, right? So we have the verse um, twice, and we have the pre-chorus. It's going to bring us into the actual chorus. The A chord, we just hit once, which brings us into the chorus. So just listen, the pre-chorus goes like this, same as the verse. But for A, we go one. Okay, we hit it once like this. The rest is just these scratches. So to do this, just you hit your A once. Look, look, watch this hand, watch what it does. So you hit the chord, then the fingers come down. You see that when they come down and they're sitting here, we get the scratch sound. Okay, now let's not overcomplicate this, just keep the same rhythm you already know. So you can still go down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, into the chorus, right? So just bear that in mind for A. If you want to do a slide on the last two beats, you can on three and four, works quite nicely, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All I'm doing is I'm pushing the third finger as I'm strumming. I keep it pushed in and you bring it down. Okay, but as you're moving, get the E minor shape ready with the other two fingers. So you can come straight in. All right, here we go on to the synth riff. This is really tricky. Only attempt this if you're a sort of intermediate to advanced level player, okay? Otherwise, if the riff is happening in the song, just play normal chords, normal rhythm. Right, just as I showed you before, that works fine. Just You can play nice and loudly, but yeah, just keep it simple. Now, if you do want to learn it, okay, let me just demonstrate quickly. We have E minor first. This is difficult because we have to use some other fingers in the chords, but also the rhythm of the right hand has to be adjusted, okay? Let's just start with E minor, okay? It's going to make more sense once you start playing this. So think about the melody. It goes... That's the first part, isn't it? It's the same thing twice. So we need to get that into our chords, right, as we're strumming the rhythm, which is why it's so difficult, because we're blending chord rhythm with the riff, right? So, we start with three downs, just like we normally do. All right, personally, I go, I do high string, low string, high string, because then you're getting that dan, dan, the first part of the melody is still being emphasized. Right. Um, just bear that in mind, you don't have to do that. Now this part, going down up is difficult, because we start, you, you need to get this four finger ready. Okay, but we go down, then up. Now when you come up, the fourth finger needs to be down on B3 here. So we have... And then it 
comes off immediately. So it just pops on for that upbeat. And then it's back off again, watch. And again we have. The next note is gonna be here. E string second fret. I use my third finger for that. This note is a little bit longer. Um, you're gonna go up and just leave it there for a second, so just watch. So just work on this for now. So play this with me. One, two, three, four. Now we have two more uh, notes to hit with the up beats, right? We have, we have the open B string, and then the fourth finger comes down again. So all together, it sounds like this. You hear that? Down, up, up, up. Isolate this little bit, just practice this tiny bit. Try and get the right strings. E, E, B, B. E, E, B, B. Right? So all together we have one, two, three, four. Alright? And that's it, that's, that's what we need to do for E minor. Okay? It's difficult. Okay, now you can add in between, you can see my hand still moving like this. Dun, 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 dun. I emphasize the notes in the synth riff, right? But I still add those in between down strums, so watch. You hear those little quiet strums are still in between there. Right. You don't have to do that, it just makes it sound bigger, right? But to begin with, don't bother with the in-between strums, just emphasize the melody. Okay, that is the best thing to do, trust me. Now for B minor, it's the same melody, the same rhythm, all right? But we have to approach it differently because we have different fingers pushed in, right? But just bear that in mind because that makes it easier to learn if you realize it's still... Dun, 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 dun. Right, but the hardest part is going from open E to this first finger here is going to come down. That's how we get that top note. All right, which is quite difficult. So we start with open E. So the wrist comes forward. All right, you see my wrist has come forward there, just to allow space. The E string. You see that? You have to hook the wrist back quickly to get that top note. Okay, now using the same rhythm as we have before, we have. So you don't have to worry too much about hitting the right strings for the first bit because everything's just there. But that up, you do need to hook back the wrist to get that top note. All right. So down, 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 down. All right. Then for the last two notes, we have, that's quite difficult to get that dun dun. So like this. I'll also note that whilst you had to hook that note back before, it's going to come straight off again immediately after. So, just work on this part. Okay, 
learning this sort of thing is really good for you, by the way, for your guitar playing, because this requires some serious coordination between the strumming, the chord shapes, changing fingers, and also this is a workout. This is strenuous on um, your wrist muscles, your squeezing muscles, right? It's a good little uh, guitar workout to strengthen up your wrists. So we've got the hardest part, learn. All right, we have this. The last part is on this D chord. And then A, remember A chord is the same as our normal rhythm. We don't have to worry about the A chord. We just have this. About. And it's the same thing twice. Da, 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 da. With a final E on the end. So, again, this was a good reason to start playing the D major chord this way because now we can just stretch across the fourth finger. It's quite a difficult stretch. All right, to make this easier, just remember you can bring the first finger right across the fret. Don't put it on the fret, okay, it's always got to be within the space, but you can bring it over. The pinky can also be brought over here, so everything's come in, right? You don't have to stretch all the way to the end, just bring them in as far as it will still work, right? And that, look at the difference in the gap there. If I bring that in there, okay, so much easier of a stretch. Okay, the difficult part is we have a straight wrist and then suddenly the wrist comes forward because we need to get that open E string in there. All right, so you start with the pinky, we go down up, it comes off on the up. And then for the second up, we have to shift the wrist forward and get the open E string. Okay, which means the first finger's got to kind of start flat and then curled. Just try that. And then you add another up to get that, this note on the B string, right? So that's pretty much all of it. Now we do it twice like this. Then you add an E string, which brings us into the A chord. Personally, I like to go straight to the A string, just to emphasize that it's now the A chord. All right, so I go like this. So all together we have one, two, one, two, three, four. That's the riff, very difficult. Now one final thing I want to point out is right at the end of the song, you can play this riff without the strumming, okay? Just so it's a really nice, quiet ending to the whole song. So you strum the chord once, the rest is the melody. way to end the song. All right, it's time for the play along, guys. It's time for you to try and play along to the whole song with me, all right? If you're a beginner, remember, you can just play the basic chord, basic rhythm in any way you like. If you know easier ways of playing the chords, you can do that. You don't have to do the way I've shown you. 
If you found this video, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell icon too, so you get notified of new videos, all right? So let's just quickly recap the structure of this song before you dive into the play along, just so you know what's gonna happen here. We have the intro, which is just E minor, twice with the rhythm. Then we go into the riff, all right? So those of you that learned the riff, you play that. If you, if you wanna stay beginner, then just play normal chords, normal rhythm. All right, then we have verse one. Okay, chords are happening twice. Again, make sure you play quietly in the verse. Then we have the pre-chorus. Okay, again, you can uh, do the same rhythm, but you might want to just kind of play slightly louder maybe. Uh, for those of you that learn that A hit, that's what happens there in the pre-chorus. Then we go into our first chorus, right? And you play nice and loudly in the chorus because it's the big part. This happens twice. All right, then we have the riff once, verse two, we play once through the chords, pre-chorus two, again once through the chords, chorus two, twice through the chords, then it goes straight into a bridge, keep the intensity up, it's the same as the chorus chords, right? Then we have a third chorus once, <laughs> then the riff happens twice again, and then to finish the whole song, we have that quiet riff all right for the new beginners if you want to do the uh, quiet riff you just play each chord with one strum and that can finish the song all right so good luck try and play along the whole thing it is going to take you several tries and don't forget you can go into the video settings and slow down the video if you want to play along to it slower to begin with good luck guys see you in the next lesson one two one two three four